Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little short video. I've got those uh, max velocity stock valve 862s that I've been working on for a long time. Uh, finally got everything done on them, finalized what valve springs we were gonna use. Took them to the machine shop, had them surface 30 thousandths. Um, the last two sets of 862 cylinder heads that I uh, had surfaced, 30 thousandths ended up right at 61 cc chambers. Uh, I know a lot of people are, I don't know, somehow confused and don't believe it, but these 862 and 706 cylinder heads do not come from GM with an actual 61.5 cc chamber like it's advertised. You have to cut those heads to get that chamber to that size. So if you didn't surface, you know, your head's 25, 30 thousandths minimum, then you're not running a true 61 cc chamber. But I tried to do a video on cc in this earlier. Uh, I should have known better, but I was kind of talking to my son and not paying attention. I had the head at too steep of an angle. And what that means is when this surface is too far up like this, if your angle's too steep, what'll happen is you'll be feel, you'll fill the chamber through your feed your fill hole. The second tinier hole is like a bleed hole to bubble out to get all the air out of the chamber. But this was at such a severe angle that when I got it to the top of the chamber, was trying to finalize my measurement. It started running back out of the feed hole. So that was a fail. But I figured I'd do another, I'd do another video and see if I can do better this time. Okay, we got her to work that time. I tried to get the seal, or where the plate seals to the cylinder head, I tried to get it as close to squished, if that makes much sense. When you put on your, I use bearing grease, but I put bearing grease around the chamber, then I take and try to kind of get it to a position where when I put my plate on, It'll squish up to the shape of the chamber as close as I can. It's really hard to get it perfect, but get it as close as you can. It looks like these things, there's literally, I put this, I put 20, 20 cc, 40 cc, and I'm literally, I don't even know if I could call that a half. It's less than half of a cc. If we squeeze it, if it'll even come out. That much. I was literally a spurt. Less than a quarter, just a nothingness in the end of this syringe from being right at 60 cc. So I, since I've had experience with these 862 cylinder heads, I did ask the, the machine shop to cut them to 30 thousandths because I wanted it to be right at a 61 cc cylinder head. I'm wondering if he didn't accidentally cut these 35 thousandths because that would make it, you know, an extra five thousandths would get me about a 60 cc chamber, so. Well, I mean, it's not a make or break on this project. I just need to know that it's there's consistency with the results I get with a given amount being machined off so I can calculate my compression for the customer. So basically these max flow stock valve diameter, you know, these are 254 thousandths at five or 600 lift. They outflow a uh, 243 799 cylinder head with this 189 valve. Plus, I've done some chamber work to unshroud the exhaust valve, which no one seems to, even I didn't know, would be that beneficial on a flow bench. But these heads turned out at 60 cc, and I think they're going to work good for the customer. So I wanted to post up a video and 
and Sorry. something online because I've been putting out cylinder heads, but I haven't been doing much recording. So appreciate you guys watching. Please, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.